Bangladesh has recorded its highest daily coronavirus death toll since the detection of the first COVID case in March last year. On Thursday, the first day of the strict nationwide lockdown, the health authorities reported 143 deaths, taking the total death toll from the disease to 14,646. As many as 281 people have been arrested by law enforcement agencies from several areas of the capital for strolling the streets without any urgent need till noon on Thursday, amid the rigid restrictions announced by the government. Checkposts have been set up at key intersections of the capital, including Kakoli, Gulshan 2 and Shahbag. The COVID fatalities in three bordering districts totaled 32 in a 24-hour count. COVID deaths have been on the rise in these three districts in recent weeks. The figures were recorded between Wednesday 8 a.m. till Thursday 8 a.m., revealed concerned district surgeons to the press this morning. The number of COVID deaths and cases in Tangail are on the rise. There is no improvement in the COVID situation in the district despite the lockdown which went effective since June 22nd. On Thursday, in a 24-hour count, Tangail recorded 16 fatalities. During the same period, 257 people tested positive for COVID. On Thursday, in a 24-hour count, 22 COVID patients died at RMCH while receiving treatment at the hospital's COVID unit and intensive care unit. This number was recorded between Wednesday 8 a.m. till Thursday 8 a.m. During the same period, 66 new patients were admitted at the hospital after testing positive for the virus. Switzerland has decided to provide additional 9.8 million Swiss francs, approximately 90 crore taka, to Bangladesh for scaling up its support for an effective community-based response in combating COVID pandemic, said a press release issued by the Swiss Embassy in Dhaka on Thursday. Health clinics in Moscow will begin offering booster vaccine shots against COVID-19 on Thursday, the city's mayor told, as Russian officials crumble to contain a surge in cases blamed on the highly infectious Delta variant. The health ministry issued new regulations for the national inoculation program on Wednesday. Myanmar freed more than 2,000 detainees on Wednesday, among them journalists and others who ruling military said had been held on incitement charges for taking part in protests, local media reported. However, the release was described by some activists as a ploy by the ruling military to divert attention from the ongoing security crackdown. At least 15 people, including a journalist and an opposition activist, were killed in Haiti in overnight violence suspected to be revenge attacks after the death of a police officer, officials said Wednesday, reports AFP. Photographs of reporter Diago Charles lying dead on the ground and of political activist Antoinette Declare dead in her car circulated on Haitian social media. The Argentine superstar Lionel Messi's deal expired at midnight despite months of rumour and conjecture. He has failed to commit to an extension. Talks over a new contract are believed to be ongoing, meaning Messi may well decide to stay at Newcamp. But for now, he is available for absolutely nothing.